and it is finally camp season. This year is actually going to be my eighth ever camp. My first camp was back in 2011, which feels like ages ago. So today I'm going to be showing you what I'm taking to Pony Club Camp for the Rider, and I will also be doing a part two to this video, which will be up next, which is what I'll be taking for the horse. So obviously all Pony Club Camps are slightly different, however they are very similar, so obviously you might take slightly different things to me, but today I'm going to be showing you what I need to bring. The first thing I'm going to start off is getting all of my clothes together, so my jodhpurs, my breeches, and my t-shirts. So in the bottom of my chest of drawers here, I have all of my jodhpurs and breeches. And obviously because it's Pony Club they prefer you to wear plain ones such as beige or white. All camps are slightly different, some are more strict and some are more relaxed. So at my camp you're allowed to wear navy, black, brown or grey, so basically very neutral colours. Which is great because literally all of mine are quite neutral colours. So I'll be taking two pairs of beige, one navy, two grey and one black. So that's one, two, three, four... Five, six. So my camp lasts six days, so I have six different pairs of breeches to take with me. This is because your jodhpurs or breeches will get so dirty when you're mucking out and it's so nice to put a fresh pair on each morning rather than a pair that's maybe got wet when you've been washing your horse. So it is very nice if you can to bring a new pair for each day. So now I'll be selecting the tops that I'll be taking to camp with me and because it's Pony Club I will be taking my Pony Club ones. So here I have my long sleeve white Pony Club top, my Hunter Green Pony Club little polo, I've got my Pony Club cross country skin, I've got my Pony Club jumper, I've got my camp top from last year and my camp top from the year before. I have a plain grey base layer that I can wear when I'm jumping because you have to wear long sleeves. Okay, so this does look like a lot of tops, however, each day you're going to get very sweaty and very dirty. So I would actually recommend bringing two different tops because if you're doing cross country and you need to wear long sleeves and you're doing dressage in the afternoon, it's really nice to change into a short sleeve top because then you won't get as hot. So here I have all of my clothes set out ready for riding. So each day I've sort of organised what I'm going to wear. So the first day I've just got a short sleeve top because on the first day we only do flat work or dressage, just so your instructor gets to know you. So I've actually got my camp top from last year. Then for the Tuesday I usually have cross country, so I have my cross country skin here. On the Wednesday we usually have show jumping, so I do have my white long sleeve pony club top and then just some navy breeches. For the Thursday, I think I most likely will have cross country again, so I have my grey long sleeve base layer here, and then I have my camp t-shirt from 2016 here to wear in the afternoon. And again, over here from the Wednesday, I have my camp t-shirt from 2015 to wear on that day in the afternoon as well. But I also have a white long sleeve pony club top as well to wear in case we do show jumping in the morning. And then lastly, on the last day, on the Saturday, we usually do like a performance where we ride around as a group, so we do our group musical ride. I don't know what we'll be wearing yet, because usually we always do a theme. So last year we all went in matchy matchy sets, the year before we went as like high school musical. So, you know, I don't know what to bring yet. So because my parents will be meeting me on Saturday to pick me up, usually I ask them to bring what I'm going to wear, like fancy dress wise, on that day. So here I have my green Pony Club sweatshirt. I haven't actually ever ridden at camp in a jumper before, just because it's always so hot because it's the summer, but I brought this just in case. And then for the evenings, when it gets colder, when we're doing our team activities, or if we're just going to the yard to do the horses for night checks, I have brought two hoodies with me. So I've just got this navy hickstead one, and I have this plain blue one here as well. So this is just a little technique I use to put everything into different days just so I make sure I don't forget anything. So now I have all of the clothes ready for riding, I need to get some clothes ready for the evening activities. 
So for the evening activities, usually it gets a little bit colder in the evenings, so I'll mainly be bringing jeans, but I will be bringing one pair of shorts and probably two pairs of jeans. And then here as well, I have three other tops to wear in the evenings when we're not riding. So at the camp that I stay at, we stay in little lodges, so we will be sleeping in beds rather than in tents. So it does get quite hot in the room that we sleep in, so I have brought my pyjama shorts and pyjama top. Okay, so now it's time to put everything in the case. Cue the time lapse. So the next thing we're going to go on to is very important and that's the toiletries. And you might be thinking, Esme, isn't it a bit excessive to take two different makeup bags for toiletries? And it's actually not because something I found out last year that was so useful is to have two different bags. This one has all of the wet stuff in, so if we go inside, I have my shampoo, I have my shower gel and I have my conditioner. I have my toothbrush and toothpaste. I have some deodorant, which is definitely an essential because you will get very sweaty and stinky. A face wash. And some makeup removal wipes. Even though I won't be really wearing makeup at camp, they are just very useful just to refresh your face, which is nice in between rides. This is the second bag. It has my name on, which is super cool. But inside I have all of the dry things. So all of these toiletries I will be using in the dorm, just because the dorm does have a mirror and you don't really need a sink for any of these items. I have my hairbrush, some moisturizer, just because your skin does get very dry, some dry shampoo, some body spray, just because again, you will get quite stinky. And very important, you need to bring some lip balm just because each year my lips get so dry. So I'd actually recommend keeping some in your grooming box as well as up at the top in your wash bag. Then I have some sun cream. Even if it's cloudy outside, I would definitely recommend putting sun cream on just because you are gonna be outside all day at camp and I don't want anybody getting burnt. I also have some hair nets just because at Pony Club, obviously you have to wear hair nets every time you ride. And here I have an assortment of hair bobbles. I have just the plain black thin ones putting my hair in a ponytail. But I'm quite a weird person. I like to have scrunchies in my hair when I do a bun just because it looks neater. So I have my Pony Club one, a grey one, a green one and a black one. Also, I kind of prefer using these just because they don't damage your hair as much. But that's just personal preference. <laughs> And lastly, I just have some makeup. Obviously, I probably won't really be wearing any makeup at camp. Here I literally just have like a little foundation concealer stick, some powder and two brushes. Just because at camp you're literally having like a sleepover with your friends and sometimes we put makeup on each other for fun. So that's why I brought some. <laughs> so next, I have a hat. Just because after you've been riding, you will get very sweaty and get very bad helmet hair. So this is great to cover that up as well as it will be very sunny, so it will protect you from the UV rays. And as well, it's great to wear when you're doing like stable management, when you're outside, but then you're not riding. So here I have some midnight snacks and we probably won't eat them at midnight just because we'll be so tired from riding, we'll be sleeping. But these are great to have in between rides if you want a quick little snack. Or, so I just brought some Oreos, you can bring whatever you like, personal preference. So I'm gonna chuck these in my case. So next I have some hand sanitizer or hand gel, and this is great to use if you're going to have a quick snack after you've been grooming your horse or riding or mucking out when your hands are gross and filthy and there isn't a sink or tap anywhere to wash your hands. I actually will keep this in my grooming box just so it's down there with the horses and already because up at the lodge where we stay, obviously there are taps in a bathroom that I can properly wash my hands. Something that is very important is a water bottle because you want to stay hydrated, you're going to be exercising all day and the worst thing you want to be is very thirsty. This is great to bring around with the cross country course with you or take it to your arena when you're riding just so it's there if you need it. I just have this flask here because it is one that will keep my water cool because it's not very nice if you have a plastic one and it's left out in the sun and it warms up and it's just like bath water. <laughs> And something that's very important is bin liners. Your mum will thank you if you use these because if you have any dirty washing, it can easily be put in here. Or if you have any clothes that are wet or really muddy because of the weather being raining, or because you might have fallen in the water jump, which uh, <laughs> is very easy to put them in here and then it stops the rest of your clothes from getting wet or muddy or stinky as well. 
Also bring a notepad and pen because on some of the days we'll be doing stable management, we'll be learning about horses. It's also great if you're learning for your C, C plus or B test because then you've got all the information written down. So here I have my shoes, I have some vans that I'm just going to be wearing for when we do the team activities and then definitely bring yourself some flip flops or some sliders because they are great to wear when you go down to the showers just to slip on because it does get quite wet. So here I have my hacking jacket, my pony club tie and a shirt. Just in case it rains, I also have a raincoat, this is just in a plain black colour obviously because it's pony club and you have to wear neutral colours. Something that's useful to bring is a torch, mine actually has a strap so I can carry it when I'm on my bike cycling to the stables. So next you'll need all of your cutlery, so here I have a plastic cup, a bowl for if I have cereal or for my pudding. Obviously I have a spoon, a knife and fork, and lastly a plate. I would definitely recommend if you can try and bring plastic cups and plates rather than glass or china cutlery, just so then in case you don't drop it, it's lighter and it's just easier to wash up. I would definitely bring yourself a mug, again I don't have a china one, I just have a metal one here, because my camp does the best hot chocolate in the evenings after we've been doing the night checks on the horses, so yes, bring a mug. <laughs> so obviously you'll need a towel for when you go to the showers. At my camp you stay in a lodge with bunk beds, so I will need to bring a pillow with me as well as a duvet, a duvet cover, and definitely remember if you're at my camp to bring a bottom sheet for the mattress because if not you'll have to sleep on a plastic mattress on the plastic that probably other people slept on, which is very gross. So I'm now down here at the yard and I'm going to be showing you all of the safety equipment that I'm going to be taking with me. So here I have my helmet and this is definitely the most important thing you need to take with you. So as you can see it's a skull cap helmet so it doesn't have a fixed peak and the pony club actually won't allow you to do cross country unless you have a helmet without a fixed peak. So don't bring a helmet with a fixed peak. You also need to make sure that it withstands the pony club's safety regulations and also when you first arrive at camp they will check it and they'll give you a little sticker like this to say that it's approved by the pony club. So here I have my body protector and I'll need it because I'll be doing cross country. Also if you're doing cross country with the pony club you need to make sure that it has the correct beta regulations. So here I have my two point air jacket. This is something that you don't have to bring with you to pony club camps. However, if you do have one, I definitely recommend bringing it. This is literally a body protector that when you fall off inflates, so it's more likely to absorb your impact, so you're less likely to injure yourself. I know not everybody has these and some people like them, some people don't. However, I am going to be bringing mine. Also, if you do have one of these, you still have to use a normal body protector underneath. If you're like me, you'll probably want to bring some gloves because I am one of those people that has to ride in gloves. So here I have my jodhpur boots. These I actually won't be using for riding because I prefer to use my tall boots. These I'll be using when I'm going down the yard to do evening checks or when I'm mucking out. So of course here I have my tall boots and I'll be using these for riding. However, I won't be using these for any general yard activities just because I want to keep them nice. Whenever you do cross country with the pony club, you will need to bring a medical armband with you. This is just because when you're doing cross country, your parents might not be there. And on here, it has all of their contact information, it has your information and any medical information that you might need. So if you take any medication, if you become unconscious and have to go to hospital, they'll have all of that right here. So that is everything that I'll be taking to Pony Club Camp for myself. I will be doing a part two for the horse, so that will be up as my next video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you are going to camp this year, I hope you'll have a great time, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!